back again. Yes. On to get on the This is a birthday trip. You'll see where we are when we land. Right there? Yeah, ma. Hey. Hey. into some pool clothes. <laughs> so we're gonna try to get into the pool. It's like, what time is it? About to be five o'clock. Oh, well, okay. We're gonna get a quick dip. Quick dip. Dip, dip, dip. Yeah. Dip. Quick dip. And get ready for dinner. And see where the night takes us. Right, babe? Yeah, I'm on. Dinner. It's our first dinner. Yeah, we know we do. Which restaurant are we gonna try? Um, the, oh, the Caribbean cuisine one. Yes. So and a nice outdoor area. Yeah, we'll take you there soon. Peace out. To do today Back the to white river rafting there you go. That's what called. yes so we'll have some concert footage from that and might be new. my birthday we didn't even have time to get breakfast so eh, it's all right i think we're just gonna grab something at that um bagel. yeah they have like a bakery bistro type thing where they have like sandwiches and you can just get coffee and stuff like that so maybe we'll grab something 
And then catch the excursion. I'm, I'm being extra this birthday. I'm and calling this birthday. look Blue 32. Hey, it's Blue 32 today. That's my birthday. Blue 32 because it's my birthday. Hey. Morgan saved me. That's my <laughs> Right. Morgan saved me. And three, another guy jumped in and helped us too. Mind you though, it was not the guy steering the raft. They didn't help me. Uh. They didn't help me at all. And I was like, oh, it capsized. They were like, no, it didn't capsize because I'm still on it. Well, that's nice. <laughs> nice that you're still on it. But anyway. Oops. <laughs> that was the event for today that's why we didn't do too much after we got back we tired again that's a, a big adrenaline rush and we didn't eat anything at, um, all day too right babe starving eat nothing all day I got reserves but I'm hungry I need some food some nourishment for my baby's birthday yeah. right so we didn't have any breakfast any lunch no dinner, this is our, no dinner. well yeah. not yet <laughs> This is our first meal of the day. So, we'll let you know how it goes. You know, try to take some pictures and everything. Last night's dinner was mediocre. It was, we waited a long time for the food and then it was cold. And that was at the Pier 8 restaurant. So, hopefully, on my birthday, this is a lot better. Bye. Clink, clink. Birthday chocolate. That face says you don't like it. No me gusta. Uh. So my birthday. As you can see, it's a couple pounds. We left the Italian restaurant and ran to the buffet. This is our first time at the buffet. Because my calamari was cold, very cold and chewy. And then that was one. Two, I asked for mashed potatoes with my salmon, and it wasn't until she brought out the salmon there was no mashed potatoes. I was like, "Oh, are you bringing out the mashed potatoes?" She's like, "No, we don't have any." When were you gonna tell me that? And then three, the salmon was ice cold. That was the last straw. I literally just got up. I said, I'm not gonna eat this. And we left. And ran to the buffet before they closed. So this is my plate. You know, some mixture of stuff. That's my Celeste plate. 
and they close like in like 30 minutes or less now but so far this is a much better alternative than staying at that Italian restaurant and look, it's so disappointing because this was not supposed to be known for your food that's the only reason why I ate it as you can see I'm a big girl I like to eat I like tasty food and it's completely disappointing Pier 8 was cold the food was cold the only thing that was hot with Pier 8 was the pulled pork salad yeah but everything else was served cold and then I go here, my salmon's ice cold. And I knew it was cold before I even tasted it because I saw they had that like um, lemon sauce. It looked like a film. Mm -hmm. It was not liquid at all. Nope. It, you could, it was gelatinous. It was gelatinous, it was like a gel. Solid. Yeah. It was a solid. Mm -hmm. And I poked the fork with it. And I'm like, I already know that it's cold. <laughs> put a lot of custard. Yeah, it looked like Bro. It looked exactly like a like custard. I yeah. have ice cream with my chicken. Yes. I was like, uh -uh. and then the waitress was still there, and I took a bite of it, and she was like, um, I was, I was like, no, it's so cold. She's like, really? I'm like, why are you shocked? You know, is it not heated? Is is it not sitting under a heating lamp? And then you know, there was no type of communication that again like they didn't have any mashed potatoes back. and yeah. it wasn't back and i feel like again if they didn't have it she should have came back when she gave the appetizer saying oh no you're not gonna have mashed potatoes why would you have me sitting there like waiting like i would have got something else but you know what everything happens for a reason because i didn't even stay there anymore wow. on my birthday i know so a whole bunch of people got saying to on their birthday but i didn't stay long enough for the birthday so please I'll send you. <laughs> Thank you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Oh. Happy birthday. Thank you. <laughs> well, yeah, Morgan had a, a good point. Yeah. It's not the servers. It's not the chefs. It's management. Like, we already know this food is pre-cooked. You know what I'm saying? Right, Put it under, right, under right. the oven, whatever. But it has to be hot. Right. Okay, it has to be hot. They don't do that here. Management needs to tell these people, hey, this is just out here for 15 minutes, switch it up. Or put it back in the microwave. Or refry it. Or refry it. Right. You know what I'm saying? We're not asking you to cook it with your bare hands and raw outside, go fishing it. Yeah. But come on, bro, it's pretty nice. It's like... Because it's fit, the food is seasoned. Yeah, like the jerk sauce is hot, you know. So it's not, I'm not complaining about the taste of the food. It's the temperature. The food is average. Mm. That I'll be very honest, very frankly, when it comes to flavoring. But then, when when the food is like average, then it's cold. It brings you worse. You get mad because again, all the other vlogs that we watch rant and rave how good the food is. Unless I don't know. A ship change. Something changed <laughs> since then. That's what I'm like thinking. I don't see it. I don't see it. I, I, don't, I don't see it. You know, we don't ever really do like negative reviews. Like, anyway. uh, so this is like the first time. Like, when, when they're ranting and raving about the food being so good, better than all the other resorts or whatever. Um, who, who paid you? Right. Was, they video must have been sponsored. Yeah, this yeah. one ain't. We're wrong. We're this one is not sponsored unless y'all want to start sponsoring us. I'll but inbox me. I have no problem. Right. I'll inbox, right. I'm inbox good actor. We got you. But <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no. This is not sponsored or anything. It's our own money we saved to come here. But yeah. That was our take on two of the hey, restaurants. So our dinner our dinner uh tickets. Right, our dinner sauce. Our dinner sauce. Our dinner, dinner sauce.
gonna have a bite for mine. That is a that's amazing. Oh man. Ooh. Big I like boss. That. I like that. Alright, so it is day three. Yes. We are going to some presentation. You know how that go. Try to sell stuff. It's whatever. It's their protocol or rules. Yeah. Sit for it, get some credit for something like a spa. Yeah, get credit for the gift shop yeah. for another excursion. Yeah. So mm. we'll see. We'll see. Mm -hmm. They call 30 minutes before, like, oh, bring a credit card and ID. Yeah, I'm like, I'm saying, bro. I'm trying to the restaurant. Like, you don't call me. I'm like, I'm not buying anything. <laughs> it's not that. No. I buy other stuff. And based on what we already discussed with the food being cold and um, issues like that, you know, this is probably going to be like a, a little bit of a first and last. We'll see. I'll see. But the hostess did come up to us after uh, we left the buffet yesterday and was just like, oh, what happened? And it's I think someone eat. told on us. Yeah, maybe. Because it was just... I was like, I had it <laughs> before, but yeah, she wants to make it up. She said, we'll make it up, so we'll see. All right, so we finished the presentation. Very, we're leaving the room actually right now. Yep. Uh, hard sales tactic. We're in sales too, so we get it, but pressure sales. The nature of the beast. Yeah. But we weren't interested. It's okay. It's okay. You're not gonna get everybody. Yeah. You'll get some people. That's good. Yeah, some people sign up. No oh yeah. Just wasn't us. Yeah, they won't miss our money. Oh no, right. They won't. They won't miss our money. <laughs> so. Welcome to the beach. Beach pool. Wherever. You get me a tan line. <laughs> wherever the day takes us, so to speak. See you all later. out yesterday we were tired we're gonna go to breakfast now we tried to get on the beach yesterday here's another thing when y'all thinking about coming here we tried to get on the beach it was completely packed right like what 12 it, two, around 12 between 12 and 2 it's like no it, spot it's available impossible. so Not that's impossible. that's highly probable frustrating you know be, i'm being very honest like it was it was, that was annoying, mm -hmm. you know? I didn't know you would have to get out the crack of dawn to try to get a spot. Who does that? I don't want to do it on vacation. Yeah, I know somebody who knows somebody that's how you see. Right, so um, one of the pool attendants, the women, they actually found us a seat by the pool, so that was very nice. Yeah, man. It was so, a job. Because people leave towels, no personal belongings, and you think the seat's taken. And it's like, there's no seat. And they're like, they just removed it. And then guess what? No one came back because they were done for the day. They just it's left the towels. People, it's so that's just something. Definitely something to be mindful of when you come here. You're going to have to wake up early and hunt for a spot, which I think is an inconvenience. Kind of like college all over again. College? Yeah, you don't have to fight for a spot. Oh, no, you dormed. Never mind. Okay. Yeah. For all my commuters out there, y'all know. Oh, when you would drive. Okay. We're gonna go to breakfast and check out the buffet and uh, take you with us. Get some coffee, Bye. baby. <laughs>
suffers time. Headed over there. Like we said, we headed over there yesterday, but it was way really too crowded. Couldn't find a seat, so. You wanna get one? Oh yeah, for the new Mm-hmm. Did you enjoy your day, Mr. Morgan? Very relaxing, good vibe. So we're dressed, ready to go for dinner. It's like 9.15. Yeah, yeah. we're late. We've been having dinner around 9.30 every night anyway, so. Yeah. I think it's okay because they're having like outside, I can hear the festivities and the little kids and stuff like that. So I know they eat super early because the show's on now. That may be the reason why we've been having such a yeah, luck. Yeah, luck with going to dinner and not having to like wait, be seated like right away or anything like that. So we're going to try Momo today. But we're not doing the hibachi. I know everybody does the hibachi. We're not doing hibachi. Eh, just not interested. We're going to do... hibachi down the street. Right. You know, you did it once. You're good. Um, so, we're going to try the other side where it's like you order like off the menu. Like if they have sushi or hopefully, I'm hoping they have ramen or soup. I want a soup tonight. So, let's hope we can get some soup. <laughs> All right. So, we're about to leave now. My bed. Mm-hmm. All right, we're out. Hopefully, the food, this food ain't cold. Let's say it's hot, hot, hot. Let's say it's hot, hot, hot. But this soup is pretty tasty. The pork is sweet. Mm. How's this soup? It's not the same thing, huh? The pork belly has like a cinnamon stick. Ooh, that's nice. Damn. That sounds good. Again, so far, if I had to rate them, we're gonna. This is gonna be two parts. I'm gonna do my rating, and then I'm gonna, and then Morgan's gonna do it. But in my opinion, top four. Out of the four restaurants that we tried, number one to me is Mo. Number two for me is the buffet. Number three, I would say Pier Eight. Which again, it's just cold. Number four was at the bottom of the Italian restaurant. It's because I had cold hard, chewy calamari. And it's supposed to be fried. So that was my biggest upset, was mainly the appetizer, the salmon, again, looking like custard. That was the biggest issue. Now Morgan's gonna share his top four and his list of restaurants. Now, I got first place and second place on top. First is the hibachi. This is nice. This is very delicious. Momo? Momo is good. Okay. Now, what's tied with Momo 
is at 24 Hour Cafe. Bottom of the list. Right. Right. He's right. I forgot about that. He's right. Go ahead. <laughs> you go to that 24 hour cafe. 24 hours. I got there first time, 3 o'clock in the morning. And that tea cast coffee, boom, delicious. The Blue Mountain coffee, strong. The panini, panini, yeah. Oh, mouth water. Was like a crepe. The crepe was a damn breakfast in the 3 a.m. Oh, yeah, you had a crepe. I had a blueberry, Nutella, with some syrup, maple syrup. Yeah. So that's 1 a and 1 b. Damn, I have to give it to. It really don't matter at that point, not for nothing. But if I had to, you know, the buffet, it was good as breakfast. Breakfast buffet, they ate on the point. Yeah. Now go between like 8 to 9. And after 10 o'clock, everything picked over. They get ready for lunch. Right. So you do an 8 to 9 gap, maybe even 10. You may have a shot. That's three. Number four, what's the other one? I don't even want to rank them because they weren't good. That's all I'm saying. They weren't that good. There you have it. Our opinion. Day four. It's day four. Right. Our dinner. So, yeah. Take with that information what you will. Especially when you're you know, planning a vacation to come here. Just keep these things in mind because I feel like it's not. Some stuff is it's really just not pointed out. It's like, be my. Uh, excuse me, we're gonna give you an hour. Real quick. Tip on it. Ready? Okay. 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 dinner it's about eight o'clock so we're gonna pop by the italian restaurant to see um if uh it's better since we you know we're told it'll be made up to us so we're gonna swing by there and i'll keep you guys posted and updated you okay fingers crossed. right fingers crossed all right part <laughs> two part two how is it, Morgan? Mm -hmm. Better? Like soup. Oh, you like it? Nah. Oh. Mm -hmm. Alright, so today we got pasta. Try it. So the top is cold. But the bottom is where all the heat is. So then when you start mixing everything together, it makes it lukewarm. Technically speaking. Better than the first time. Improvements can definitely be made. No, honestly, I'm not even, and I'm not a cook for that. It's just about the temperature. Literally, that's it. The taste is that. Taste, it does taste good, but you know, again, when your food does it come out like hot, uh, it alters the taste of it, so. That's just my opinion again. I don't like that face. It's cold. It's very cold. This way. Not this. I got chicken and this is supposed to be like potatoes. You know, let's try let's try potatoes.
That's okay. Potato. And let me see if I can cut this little one with my fork. Let's see. Alright. I know. <laughs> I'm only gonna take a bite of it. But that that gluten is very cool. Mm. Mm. There you have it. Twelve o'clock now. Rung in Morgan's birthday at the club. They gave him a little cake, so that was nice. He ordered room service for breakfast earlier, but you know it was cold. But whatever. Right now we're gonna go to the buffet, walk around, maybe go to the specialty coffee shop, get some coffee, and then we're gonna do the water package at the spa and see how that is. I feel real bad because. It's Morgan's birthday today, and he definitely caught, he definitely caught some type of cootie. Sneezing, super congested. It's mainly just, conge it's a lot of congestion and sneezing, so. Yeah, so what happens when you go to a resort with a lot of kids. Kids equal cooties. A lot of kids equal cooties. Everybody's brains, <laughs> they pack it something else with them. Not just they clothes. Well, yeah. Let me see if the gift shop has any thing to at least suppress some of the symptoms. So she's a little bit more comfortable. We'll see. Bye. Just the um steam rooms, steam room, hot tub, like those things. The, the water feature package. Uh, mhm. Mm so. And then tomorrow's our massage. And then we have access to that stuff again tomorrow. Japanese restaurant, Momo's. Cause I really like the soup, so. We're gonna head there now. At Momo Part 2. Right, babe? Yes, sir. Happy birthday, Morgie. Second piece, what's that? Pork belly. 
Oh, a pork belly. Okay. All right. Look at this thing. I got the same thing I got last time. Soup. And they give me this drink. So white thing. going to breakfast last full day here we're going back to the spa for our massages and yeah we're gonna to go to the buffet i'm thinking after the spa maybe the beach maybe the pool last turn up it's kind of chill besides you know doing the spa the massage i think it's 80 minutes the massage you know pretty long and then we can use the facilities after that pool and the hot tub, and then have the ice pool. The ice pool was really cold. And the ice room was cold, too. I think the ice pool was colder than the ice room. But anyway, see where the day takes us. That's it. Right. All right.